Hey, what's up? John from VideoFort.com here, bringing you another After Effects tutorial. Today, we're going to learn how to make some flaming text, just like this. Oh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's uh, get that centered so you can see it for its full glory. Oh, VideoFort.com is on fire. I like it. Um, yeah, so we're going to learn how to do this today, guys. So sit back, relax, and let's get fired up. So we're going to go up to composition, new composition, 1920 by 1080, 24 frames per second, and it's going to be 10 seconds long. Let's name this Flamer. <laughs> That's mature. And we are going to go up to our text tool and type videofort.com 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 in this all right so we've got that made let's go ahead and grab our select tool and reposition this looks great right there. By the way, I've got a uh, copper plate text and uh, all these settings over here. You can check it out if you want. Otherwise, we're going to go to our effects and presets pane and we're going to search for ramp. And we are going to jump this text. No, we're just going to put a gradient on it. That's, uh, that's what ramp means. And I'm just going to switch this around a hair you can too if you want I mean it is a tutorial technically you're supposed to do exactly what I'm doing I'm gonna change the colors on these just to a little bit of a of a grayish and that white I'm just gonna bump down to there so just slightly off white and off black colors and you can alter that some more by the way we're going to make this text look like it's chrome so uh, that's the direction we're heading towards right now. And we're going to go back over to our effects and presets search and search for color rama, color rama, color rama, however you want to pronounce it. I don't care. We're going to add it on to there and it's going to give us that cool coloration. First thing we're going to do is go to modify and uncheck modify alpha. And that'll uh, take off those hard edges that we currently have. I'll do that a couple times so you can see it. Then we're going to go to Output Cycle, and we're going to go to the Preset Palette and choose Golden 1. Whoa, that is not Chrome. I want, oh wait, that's right, we're not, we're not done yet. So that's going to give us uh, this coloration, and my project is going to save real fast there. And now we're going to go back over to our Effects and Presets and add a tint. Hmm, a tint you say. Yeah, unfortunately, it, Colorama does not have a silver preset, so uh, you just kind of have to bear with me. And that tint looks spot on, so uh, we're just going to keep adding things onto there. And we're going to bring in a bevel effect, bevel alpha. So we're going to grab that and pop it onto there. And this is going to give us kind of like a 3D look, not really 3D, but it's going to add some shading and lighting to the text to make it appear as if it might be popping out. So if we zoom in a little bit, we can see that effect better. And if we change our resolution to full, we can also see it. And we can just increase that edge thickness, maybe bring down the light intensity slightly. That looks pretty good. You can also change the light angle if you uh, want to have it coming from a different angle. So, yeah. tons of uh, options that After Effects gives you. It's just amazing. So, once you have that all set up, the last one that we're going to be adding is a curves layer, effect layer. And we'll just throw that onto there. And we're going to take this end of the curves and bring it all the way up. Then we're going to move over just a little bit and drop down. And then we're going to go back up, all the way up. And then we're going to come back down. 
and then we're going to go back up again and come back down and now our text looks kind of chrome like and you can adjust these as you want to kind of give it more shine or you know different effect there but uh, it's kind of pretty much more or less what we want so you know make any adjustments you need and that is it for making our text look like chrome so we just chromed it out let's go ahead and duplicate this layer by or actually we're going to pre-compose this layer so we're going to right click and choose pre-compose and we are just going to name it bf text and we'll say okay and that looks all good now we are going to duplicate it so press command d on your keyboard or control d if you're on a pc and we will with that selected throw on a glow effect so we're going to search for glow and we're going to scroll down to where it says stylized glow and pop that right onto it instant shininess let's go ahead and bring the uh, threshold down to zero I'll go ahead and do that I'm also going to uh, readjust my resolution back down to a third sounds like my computer's working pretty hard there and let's go ahead and change the original colors to AB colors oops and right here we will turn this into like an orange color something in that vicinity make me feel orange and the black we will remap to a reddish orange so we we'll scale that up slightly and pick that that looks amazing now, a little bit we can bring up our glow intensity if we want maybe to about 10 let's see how that looks oh that's really intense let's bring it back down to a four it's a little better maybe uh, two and let's bring out the radius to 40 and we'll bring it back down to 30 maybe and just kind of play around with that and see how you like it and that's uh, starting to give us the glow so really awesome now we are going to add a liquify effect so search for liquidify whoa and drop it on there now this immediately brings up our warp tool for liquify and we're just going to go through and start stretching out different points around here. So I'm just going to kind of stretch this out. I'm just going to stretch our text and uh, make it liquidy or flamey in our case. And we're just going to go through and do this on all the individual letters. Um, you know, just kind of stretch out their ends and make it look like it's a, a piece of fire jumping out of the pit ready to catch you. and you just kind of click and stretch it out so go ahead and go through and do that I'm gonna go through and do that and once uh, I have finished I'm gonna show you guys some cool techniques on how to add some movement to it so it looks more flame like but uh, right now just go through and uh, liquefy this text make it all flamey be back soon all right, so I've gone through and I've stretched out the tops of my text to kind of look more flame-like. I know that's, uh, I mean, that if I got out a lighter right now and I were to set it afire, I think that's uh, what the flame would probably look like. So that's, that's what I was basing it off of. Uh, if you guys don't have a lighter at home, I recommend running out to the store and buying one and uh, igniting it and just kind of watching that for a good half hour. Make sure not to burn yourself, but that will give you a good idea of how a flame should look, and this is how a flame should look. So from there, we need to add a little bit of movement. So if we go to where it says distortion percentage and set a first keyframe, 
then we can oops, go ahead and click on the stopwatch there and that will set our first keyframe and then we can go through and just kind of increase and decrease this as we feel uh, fit so we can type in something like 150 Let's see how that stretches everything out so uh, let's go through and do some keyframing on that maybe have it go up to uh, 200 there huh get real wild and then I'm just gonna go to in between and make it like a lower number for some real cool effect. So yeah, go ahead and uh, go through and set some keyframes up for this. And once you finish up keyframing it, I will uh, rejoin you and show you how to do some other really amazing things to uh, make this really look like it's a fire dancing around. <sighs> also, if you select this text layer and press U on the keyboard, that'll bring up all the keyframes that you've set so you can see the different keyframes that you've created for this so far. And now that we have a couple of the keyframes set, we can just uh, highlight all of them. Press Command C on the keyboard, and then Command D, and that'll uh, throw them in there. Command V again, and now we've got a very rough animation. So if I set the uh, end key here, maybe, and let's go ahead and ram preview this and see what happens. All right, and checking it out. I would say, based off of the uh, lighter technique I told you about earlier, this is uh, spot on with how flames uh, interact in a real life environment. So, check it out. I'm actually going to highlight all the keyframes again. And move them together. So, if I hold down the option key while I do this I can kind of scrunch them in without them all moving and that'll keep the uh, animation kind of to scale and uh, you know just kind of a bigger variance there so now what I can do is to uh, add just some more flame like stroke and effect to it so it's slightly more random if we option click on our distortion percentage stopwatch that's going to bring up the expression controls. And we can type in wiggle, W-I-G-G-L-E. And then I'm going to have it go 10 by you know, 60, maybe. And this is going to add a wiggle effect to our flame, so it's going to be a little more jumpy. We're also going to set it for the Y-axis, so that it's uh, only going up on, uh, only affecting the Y-axis of the flame. So not the all around, it's just going to be moving up and down and stuff left and right as well. So... If we uh, play that back, we can kind of preview how the wiggle effect will look. And the nice thing with wiggle is it's going to add some uh, nice variations that we wouldn't necessarily be able to keyframe ourselves. Sure, we could go through and try to keyframe it, but it would just be a, a horrendous job and, and very difficult and tedious. So that's why those expressions are pretty nice and come in handy often. So now we can kind of play that back and see a little bit of how our animation is. So that's looking super duper. Now we are going to need to set the mode on this to overlay. So if we just click where it says normal here, oops, not hue, although that does look pretty cool looking. We're going to go to overlay. That's going to give us that. And one last thing. So right now we're pretty much finished. You've got the fiery looking type text. How do we make it look like 
this. You know, where we've got that real fire effect going on back here. Well, there is a very cool trap code preset that you can use. So, I am going to grab our top VF text layer with our glow effect, and let's go ahead and rename this glow. That'll let us know that that's the glow effect. And then let's go ahead and duplicate that layer. So press Command D if you're on a Mac, Control D if you're on a PC. And we are going to rename this one Ch Cow Flame. And that'll give us, uh, well, it's not going to give us anything. We're going to go over and add a preset to it by trap code. So we're going to search trap code. Whoa. Actually, we're going to search glow because I remember those presets are underneath that one for trap code. And let's just extend this out so that we can actually read those. And if we go underneath where it says trap code form, we're going to choose this first one here, this uh, form HT presets. And we can just drag that and pop it right on top. And that's going to give us this goofy looking thing down here. Now that doesn't really look like fire at all, but you know, I'm going to go ahead and minimize our two other effects. But if we drop down where it says particle, and we bring up the particle sphere to like 100, particle size, we're going to bring it to a 3. Now that's you know, starting to look a little more flame-like. Let's bring up the size random to 100. And it's going to start splitting it up, and those are kind of like the... You know, at a campfire when the piece of wood or ember flies up into the air and it almost hits you in the face and you feel like you just met death. Well, that's what that kind of looks like to me. And uh, that's why we're playing with those. So we'll bring up the opacity random to 100 as well, and that's going to kind of disperse it more. So we got all these particles down here. And uh, we'll try to scrub through. It's probably not going to do anything for us, though. But as you go through, there's actual like movement on all of these particles, too. They kind of twist and rotate. My uh, computer is just being super fantastic. So if we also go down to Disperse and Twist, we can add a twist to it. Now, I put my twist at a 4 because uh, that seemed to create a nice spiral without it being too much. So it's kind of cool there. And Disperse, uh, you know, you can probably put up to like a 10 maybe. I don't know what that's going to do exactly. Probably be something real wild and crazy. And more fun things that you can play with would be the uh, fractal field. You can go through that and, you know, choose the effect size, and that's going to bring up more hot points, and the effect opacity as well. So, you know, alter with those a little bit, but once you have that made, you're just about there. So, we're going to take this layer. And we're going to duplicate the glow one more time. So go ahead and press Command-D on glow, and that will give us a second glow. And we're going to move that above our flame layer. So we're going to move this up behind our text. We're going to start moving that upwards. So we'll get there eventually. All right, and as I move this into place, we're going to get that just behind the text. And uh, we're going to make it look like it's actually on fire. Look at that. Wow. Okay. And with that in place, I am going to go over to where it says track mat, and I'm going to make this an alpha mat for Glow 2. So if I do that, now we kind of have the fire showing through a little bit. All right, well, that wraps it up for today. Go on and head over to videofort.com, check out some awesome stock footage. Make sure to comment below and show us what you're doing with these effects. We'd love to see some of the videos that you're creating and how you're using the stuff that we're putting out there for you. It'd be awesome. And otherwise, guys, click subscribe so you can stay up to date on all these sweet tutorials and effects that we're putting out for you. We love keeping you learned up and showing you new cool things that you can do with After Effects that you may or may not have known before. Anyways, uh, that wraps it up. Make sure to have a great day, or not. The choice is yours. Later, guys.
Do you want hot footage? Videofort.com has it. Videofort.com.